You neighbors say it sounded like a bomb went off, but it was a massive pine tree crashing onto a house in Monrovia, trapping the residents inside. The house was crushed along with a van parked in the driveway. Now, amazingly, no one was seriously hurt, but the damage is extensive. The cleanup expected to be expensive. Samantha Cortez live in Monrovia with a look at the staggering size of that tree and the mess it left behind. Sam. It really is hard to believe just how big this tree is without seeing it in person. I imagine that's why so many people have driven by in just the last five minutes or so. But the neighbor here, her name is Shelly, and she was kind enough to speak with me today just before going live, telling us about what she experienced last night around 7 p.m. She said she was making dinner when it sounded like two bombs went off. A first big sound was from when the top of this tree fell onto the house and then all of the roots coming up from out of the cement, bringing up her fence. She said it was terrifying. She came outside to a big cloud of dust. And today, all those neighbors coming by saying, are they in uh, any danger of this happening to trees in their house? People are wondering now how to prevent them from being next. It's huge. <laughs> this home in Monrovia, crushed as a massive pine tree fell seemingly out of nowhere Wednesday around 7 p.m. This is tragic. I mean, not just a house, the car. Lumber snapped. A fence once on the ground, now feet in the air, held up by roots. This Ford van crumpled. Everything in the tree's way, the fences and stuff are just kind of obliterated. They're, they're like they're toothpicks. This is what the home on Mountain and Foothill looked like in 2022, when the tree was slightly smaller. You don't really think and see the hugeness of the tree when it's up like up in the sky, but you get to see it on the ground like this. It's a uh, it's a humongous thing. Neighbors tell us two people and two dogs were inside the home at the time. The couple who rent the home were in the front room. A woman saved by furniture that blocked her from being crushed. They had to turn off the gas lines and escape through the back of the home with the help of firefighters. Miraculously, no one was hurt but they will have to find somewhere else to stay. Inspectors with the city have red tagged the home. It's nearly all gone and they will investigate why it fell. I have one right next to me, a huge one right next to me. And I always think about well, if it was to ever fall. It's sad and it's, it's also a little scary. The large pines are all over Monrovia. Locals fondly say they give the city charm, but consider this a warning. I wouldn't think a huge, beautiful tree like that would fall just by itself. There's got to be something that's causing it's a mismanagement of the tree in some way, probably inadvertent. And it makes me want to be really careful and uh, diligent about caring for my the one I have in my yard very, you know, properly. Arborists say, of course, wind and the saturated ground are problems, but if it seems like there was no reason for the tree to fall, it may have been, been because the tree was top heavy. Wrong limbs were cut or not cut at all over the years, meaning that most of the weight of that tree was at the top. And Shelly said something interesting. She said the woman who lives at this house works at the City of Hope, which of course does a lot of research for people who have cancer. And she said Shelly had some guardian angels out here in Monrovia last night. In Monrovia, Samantha Cortese, KTLA 5 News. I would say, Sam, thank you. Incredible.